Okay guys, this is just a really quick video on the differences between the iCarsoft version 1.0 kit versus the iCarsoft version 2.0 kit. There are a few differences between the kits. Uh, first of all, if you are interested in picking any of these kits up, please click the, the link in the description below this video and it will take you to the uh, page where these are both displayed and also there'll be an email address in that description. So if you are still unsure about any of the functions, um, for your specific vehicle, then please use that email address and they'll get back to you as soon as they can. So we're looking at the iCarsoft version 1.0 kit first of all. This kit will basically, first of all, it'll cover all of the main systems. So the main systems being the engine, the ABS, the airbags, the transmission and oil service reset. In some cases, depending on the vehicle, it will cover other systems as well. So those other systems would include things like air conditioning, power steering, convertible top, um, central locking, alarm systems, radio systems, um, door locks, things like that. But again, use that email address in the description below to double check. Uh, but ultimately though, it should cover the main systems in all vehicles, engine, airbags, ABS, transmission, and oil reset service as well. So that's the version 1.0 kit in a nutshell. The version 2.0 kit will do everything that this kit will do, but this has additional coverage and this does additional functions. Now, the additional functions that I'm gonna tell you about right now, they all depend on this specific vehicle. So I'm gonna tell you, first of all, say for example, the injector coding. This covers injector coding and it may work on one vehicle, but it might not work on the next vehicle. So um, the software engineers, they're always looking to update the software, always to make, looking to make sure that this tool will work on all vehicles, but just at the time of speaking, it's not gonna work on all vehicles. So use that email address to make sure that the additional functions that I'm gonna tell you about will actually work on your vehicle. So those additional functions, this is everything that this does over and above this kit, include injector coding, ABS brake bleeding, new battery registration, DPF regeneration and reset, electronic throttle control, oil service and brake service reset, steering angle sensor calibration, and electronic parking brake. So as I say though, double check with the email address below to make sure that those additional functions will work on your vehicle. Um, as I say, you can pick up both of these kits in the link below this video. Uh, they are part of the, uh, the top five tools for your vehicle for this particular year. So um, they are really, really good tools. The iCarsoft brand have come on a long way since they, they started producing uh, early tools uh, about seven or eight years ago. So these tools, they're really good. Um, would certainly recommend them to any DIY enthusiast, anybody who looks to look after their own car, maintain their own car, and they basically want to get to know their own car and, and be able to work on it and fix things themselves without having to take it to a garage. Uh, so that's all for now. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Um, as I say, just a quick, a quick video explaining the differences between the version one and the version two. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.